Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. And this time, I've trapped myself to the entry level US Pro Tools chest and roller cabinet. Let's take a look at it. Before we begin, please subscribe to this channel for more content like this. And if you do enjoy this one, then give me that thumbs up. I'm still heading for that 1000 subs by March. It's just early February now. So come on guys, help me out, subscribe, better content, better videos just for you. I've been wanting something like this for my garage for a long, long time, but never been really able to afford it. I know it's not the snap on tools because they're four figures, very, very expensive. This from US Pro Tools was just £125 delivered to my house. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unbox it, gonna uh, assemble it, take a look at it, and then I can move all my mass of tools into one place, which is gonna be so easy to find and organize. Let's get going. So like I said on the intro, this is their entry level set. Uh, as you can see, that's what we're gonna get. Uh, I think this is maybe what it incorporates, maybe it incorporates them two items because this bit on top is just sat on top of this bit here, which is the trolley part. So I think it's a combination of those two things there. So if that's what you're looking for, uh, that's the picture of it. So before we start, let me just take you for behind the scenes look in my workshop and just show you why I think I need one of these toolboxes. So here we go. This is, uh, this is where I stick a lot of my screwdrivers. I've got spanners, which I've only got a few uh, hooks for them. So I've got loads and loads of spanners stuck all over it. Uh, I've got all sorts, a few sockets here, look, and all bits and bobs there. I bought this many, many, many years ago. I think this was a Halford special, and this is just absolutely rammed now. So I need a place to put all these different types of sockets um, in here. We've got uh, some pliers and a few screwdrivers and a few more spanners, etc. in there. So I've got all of that underneath here. You might be able to see maybe a bit of that, but I've got a couple of uh, socket sets and, and some toolboxes as well. So yeah, I've got bits everywhere. Like I've got some crimping stuff down here and some tools on here and oh, it's just, it's just everywhere. So I'm hoping that with the purchase of this box, that is gonna help me and uh, I can get a lot of stuff organized in this. So let's get it opened up. Okay, let's tear this open and see what we get in the box. So yes, this is upside down, but um, what happens is with these is they've put the other unit inside. So I'm gonna have to take the bottom of this off, try to get the other unit out. Okay, change of plan. What I've just seen now is there's a panel on the side here with four little screws in. So you'd probably take this panel off and slide the top box out there. Let that drop so it doesn't get damaged. There we go. Now you do have to take the screws out the bottom as well because I think they're holding this tight to the bottom. So you need to take the four screws out the bottom and the four screws out the side and then this should then come out of this slot here. There's your top box. So I'm just going to put that on the cardboard out the way so it doesn't get scratched. So I think I now need to turn this back over to look in the top because we should have some wheels for this, but I think they may be in the top. So let's go find those. There we go. There's the wheels. It's got coats. Ah, there we go. Here's the assembly instructions. Oh, I might remove side panel, remove chest, can do the handle and put the casters on. And that's it. So let's turn it all the way up and get the wheels on. And then we can assemble the handles on the other chest. And you're going to need a 13mm spanner for the wheels. Get this wheels on, so now we can turn this right way up and we can get it on its wheels. And of 
course, replace the side panel. And now we can put the top box in position. And then open the top box and remove these retaining bars which stop the drawers sliding out while it's in transportation. So one other thing to find is this is supposed to have handles on the side so they must be in one of these drawers. There we go. <laughs> so they only go one way up because the handle won't lift any higher than that. So that's the way up they go so the handle can go flat with the actual side of the unit. Did you get a little bag of screws with it? And then what else you get is a range of hooks which you can put into these holes here to hold some extra tools on the outside. And that is a completed unit. So first impressions, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not uh, snap-on quality, I know that, but the drawers are roller bearings. I mean, look at the drawers. The drawers are, I'll show you that. So, I mean, they're, they're pretty good. They're very smooth. They kind of click in when you push, not like snap-on, obviously you have the lever to pull the drawer out. But I won't be moving this far anyway, so the chances of the drawers flying forward on me is, is very slim, to be honest. And by the time they're clicked, they're all clicked in now. So if I tip that forward, there you go, you see nothing, you know, no drawers are coming out. So, yeah, that bit works. Uh, each each drawer, I'll show you on the top one, each drawer's got a piece of of this in it, so that's nice to put all the tools on, stop them scratching the actual box. And that work top's got some on as well. And you've got two deeper drawers here. And then the up and over cabinet. Can't see that, can you? The up and over cabinet at the bottom. So you can get some bigger stuff that you don't use much in there. Now obviously this bottom stuff won't lock, uh, but this top is the only bit that locks, I'm thinking, because if I lock that, you can still open these. So it's only the top box that locks. But like I say, it's, it's locked in my garage. I'm not trying to protect anybody from stealing my tools, because nobody's going to be coming in here apart from me. So first impressions is, um, Probably not the quality of snap-on, but snap on a thousand of pounds. Don't forget this was £125 delivered. So I think they're 119 plus delivery. So you can't really go wrong, I don't think. I'm gonna get loads of my tools in there, which is gonna be really good. Now I've ordered some socket organizers, because obviously you just have a pile of sockets rolling about in there, which would be no better than what I've got now. So uh, yeah, and the socket organizer will come and be able to get them in there. That'll be cracking. So let's have a look at what my tools and let's uh, see what I'm going to put in here. So there we have it, I've loaded it up now, it's not full, I've got some other bits and bobs I might put in it, but uh, yep, so in the top, I've got a nicely organised, I've got my ratchets there and it's got long bars and my little uh, set of all different heads there and then the little ones have just taken up some little bits and bobs that I had which is great you always kind of lost them in a big toolbox and then we've got the spanner drawer and then screwdrivers and pliers and panel removal tools Allen keys seem to have collected a few of them over the years Next down, this is going to be the sockets, but I'll, I've got some socket organizers coming, so they'll all go into the organizers when I get those. And then we've got uh, crimping tools, etc. And then underneath, just a lot of bits and bobs uh, that'll just fit in there as well. So, yeah, all in all, that's uh, fantastic. So, we'll go back into workshop out here. So, that backboard is half empty now, which is good because I've got rid of a load of stuff up there and a load of stuff up there and that is totally empty so I don't know what I'm going to do with that uh, I might uh, find some use for that but yeah all in all I'm very pleased with it it's it's pretty good um you know I can't knock it it's for what it is 
£119 plus delivery. It's been really good, so I've got everything in that I need to get in, and, and I can shut the lid and then just kick it into this corner, and then it's well out the way. There we go. And also, yeah, I've got a few bits and bobs hanging there as well, some of the big spanners and things. But yeah, it just sits nicely in there. So when I've got the obviously when I've got the car in here, then I've got the tools right close to me, so I don't have to go far to get them. So yeah, very pleased. So that's it really for this uh, video. Um, yeah, don't forget that's US Pro Tools chest and roller cabinet. It's the cheap entry level one. I don't need to buy Snap-on. I haven't got that type of money. I've not got that many good tools anyway, as you've just seen there. I'm a man in a garage and that is a little toolbox, which is ideal for the amount of tools that I've got. So fantastic, well happy with it. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me the thumbs up. Thanks for watching, till next time. Take care.